Firmware is really important for IP cameras. The goal here is you want to make sure that the firmware of your IP camera is supported by the software version of your VMS. Again, the firmware of your IP camera needs to be verified that it works with the software version of your VMS. If that doesn't happen, often you will have issues with connecting and you'll wonder why. You'll be like, hey, there's no connectivity. I don't know why this isn't working. And a firmware upgrade all of a sudden will make things work seamlessly. So what's happening is, is that IP cameras are essentially mini computers, right? They're computers with a lens and a sensor on it, but still, they're still, still computers. And over time, IP cameras will have new firmware, new software loaded onto them, and that will make changes in how the camera operates. So let's show you that in practice. So you can just see a little bit. We're going to go to a couple of systems. So we're looking here at this uh, VMS. Each VMS usually has a public list of what cameras they support. So this is one VMS, and it's showing how it supports this Axis camera. And it's saying it supports the camera firmware 5.40.3.1 using its, its own VMS server 4.9.9.9. We can see the same thing here on another VMS. So we're looking at a different camera and a different VMS. So this Aircon camera, this 20 megapixel camera, it says it supports version 65174. And you know, you could gen also check to see what is the up to date, and for instance, Milestone calls it their uh, device driver pack to make sure that you have the most up to date driver pack or the up to date VMS software so that everything is matching. Up. So that shows you on the VMS side. The other thing that you can do is you can look at each camera manufacturer. They almost always will list publicly what is, and I'll show you here, for instance, the latest firmware for each camera. And if you can just scroll down, so we're mentioning this uh, Q1604, and then we can see that the manufacturer is saying that the most recent version of it uh, is going to be the, let's see where we are, is going to be 5.40.3.1. And you can repeat this process with uh, other camera manufacturers or on another website. And so we've checked here that its firmware is 6.5 and 7.0. So let's take a look at this as an example. Let's say the camera is 65170 and the VMS is 4.9.9. But you, your camera has 64862 and your VMS version is 4.7. If you connect those, they may or may not work. But I can tell you this, the issue is going to be that the firmware and the software are out of date and don't match up. So the solution to this problem is to get everything upgraded to what's the latest and greatest. We can show you this here on the VMS side. So you can find out, you know, check what is the server information. For instance, we're running 4.9.6. And we can also verify on the IP camera side that, for instance, we have 5.40.3 on this one camera. So we're slightly out of date. It's not causing an issue right now. But in the future, it could be when they move to 5.5, we might want to upgrade as well if we're upgrading our VMS. This is especially important when you're first connecting. And then the last thing we can show you is on the camera side, so we're connected into a camera, it too will also uh, state its firmware so that you can know what firmware am I at with my camera, what software version do I have in my VMS, and do they match up? Really important that you keep firmware in mind uh, and make sure that if you're having problems that you're upgrading the firmware so that everything's current and in line with what's been tested with the VMS system. Thank you.